but I just want to give a shout out to Wall Street Trapper. I'm a huge fan in Aristotle uh, investing. Uh, these guys won a Mellon Award. Uh, I we were all up for the same, uh, I believe we were all up for the same award. I know uh, Trapper, myself and Ian, just to be in a category with these giants was just an honor and uh, well-deserved. And listen, if you can't, if you can't celebrate others, you don't deserve to be celebrated, all right? So that's why I use them in the thumbnail. You got to, we have to get out of this mind frame that it's all about us, because I got news for you. It ain't for you school teachers, all right? So uh, just gonna show you a few uh, uh, clips. I got stopped many times on this trip from the people that work at the hotels and the airports and all of that. Stop me. I want to know if you are making money, right? I want to know if I am effective, okay? So, uh, shouts out to those guys. Nominees. So, this joint is stacked, yo. Aristotle Investments. Come on. Ian Dunlap. Terry Joma. Jessica Lane. Wall Street Trapper, yeah. Ashley Fox, yeah. Ross Beck, yeah. Tiffany yeah. J, yeah. Lauren yeah. Simmons, Larry yeah. Jones. Jones. Guys, here, Aristotle. That's good. Wall yeah. Street yeah. Trapper. Yeah. 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 These OG Larry. OG Larry. OG Larry. OG Larry. OG Larry. OG Larry. OG yes, sir. Larry. These gentlemen, these business entrepreneurs, yeah. these teachers of wealth, yeah. masters of the game, Come on. both won awards last night. I am fans of them both. I want you to check out all of their social media and just eat when they serve. Youngest millionaire in the game right now. Yes, sir. He a problem. He a problem. They both will be on the page, and you are not going to believe his story, and his story is insane. Let's go. Where you guys from? from we are from, from India. 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 <laughs> this is my India family. Who do y'all? Who, who do you guys watch? Talk up Talk up <laughs> That's it. All around the world, good people. We're just spreading this wealth all around. Look at look at my Indian family. Ooh. That's it. I got to get down there. I'm going to come visit y'all. Sure. <laughs> Trump spoke at the Bitcoin conference. I was there, but I flew out the day that he was speaking. I watched it live, but we had Keenan Grace and Stocks with Josh uh, there in the hall. And there was a lot going on with crypto. Uh, we had Michael Saylor, uh, guy had, took a picture with him. He spoke, and uh, you had all of these uh, Bitcoin maximalists uh, there, and it, it was a crypto conference. I wish they would just call it a crypto conference, uh, but Bitcoin was rolling strong. Now, the former president made some bold predicaments or, or predictions. Uh, you can read some of the headlines here. Trump calls for U.S. to be crypto capital got bumped back yet again. So now my flight is two and a half hours behind, but I just want to leave you with this. Be a light. A lot of times in the comment section, I will leave you a post with praying hands. I would say be blessed or sometimes I say peace and light. And I mean that be a light. Okay. We know who the ultimate light is, but you and I are supposed to be a light. Okay. And you can't be a light walking in darkness. You can't be a light of uh, 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 thinking darkness, okay? And the truth be told, you can't be a light if you think that the glass is half empty. We have to be the glass is half full. We have to see that our future is brighter than our past, okay? We have to hope against hope and not just fake uh, weightless hope. We need to do the work for us to have the results that we want, good people. And so when I say peace and light, I mean peace and light, but we need to be the light. So draw near the light, walk towards the light, walk to the light, then you become the light. Remember, 83% of everything you worry about never comes to existence. So you're wasting time walking in darkness. Remember, that everything that you consume, what you hear with your ears, be careful of the music you listen to, 
what you see with your eyes. Be careful of what you look at. Control the environments that you are in. Hook along arms, hook arms with people that are going in the direction you are and get away from the naysayers and treat them like the plague. I'm gonna to continue to say that. You see the people that I align with, okay? People that are going somewhere, that are doing things, right? Yes, we're not gonna get rid of our family members, though some of your family members are toxic. Let's, let's be real. But you be the light. You be the light. Now, someone that's listening to me, you're a negative person. And I, I don't wanna get on your case. I just wanna encourage you to walk in the light because that's what God created you to be. He created you to be the light, even financially. He created you to be the light. Man, woman, who, whoever is uh, listening to me, you will be the first one, just like some people's, they're the first ones in their family to graduate from college. Well, you're gonna be the first one to break that financial curse, right? And it doesn't matter your education level or anything because God has called you to the light. Now, if you're walking towards the light, you must be a light, okay? And so in all things, in your, de your deepest and darkest hour, just draw towards the light. Sometimes being the light is actually cutting off all the light, all right, and meditating, all right? and drawing toward the light. And I'm talking about God. I ain't talking about no hokey pokey. I'm talking about God. And, and so sometimes drawing towards the light is falling on your knees and praying to God. God is the light. And he has predestined your footsteps. God has ordered your footsteps. And your footsteps and the path that he has for you is not towards the darkness, it's towards the light. And these are not just empty words. I'm telling you, in my deepest and darkest hours, when I get the bad news, all of this, I always hope against hope. And I always think that this too shall pass, but I have to focus on the future and the future is bright. It's so bright, I need glasses. I started to put my glasses on. My future is so bright, I need glasses. I need sunglasses. That's how bright it is. And I'm telling you that's listening to me right now, I don't care what the situation is, your future looks bright. Walk towards the light. And if you don't know where the light is, I dare you, I challenge you to ask God, where is the light? Because I got news for you. You are talking to the ultimate light, all right? I'm gonna leave it right there, good people. I know this was long. That's why I time stamped it and chopped it up pray that I get home sometime today, good people. And when I say I love you guys, I mean it because light is love and love is light. All right. Be the light. We'll talk to you later. Live, love, laugh and learn.